welcome to my channel um, and welcome to a new Sims 4 speed build, which I mean, it has been a while since I uploaded anything to this channel, um, but I am back with just this one video um, because I built because I was inspired and I really wanted to build a home for my Sims for the brand new expansion pack, Sims 4 Growing Together, which is coming out very soon. And yeah, I needed a space for my Sims to raise their children from the new life stage, infants, through to toddlers and kids and teens. I'm really, really excited for some really cool family gameplay. And yeah, I just, I have been playing with this family for months and months and months and they needed a new home. And I've been really inspired to build some London townhouses again. It's been forever since I last built in The Sims. Um, and I really, this was just like a passion project that I really wanted to show you guys because I was building it and I thought might as well record and create a little speed build for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. I hope any of you are still like, watching this. I mean, probably not. I'd be very surprised if anyone even remembers me. Um, no, but all jokes aside, yeah, I, for anyone who does tune into this video, thank you very much. Um, I'm giving you a little update on um, what I've been doing and uh, just talking about this build, really. Um, so yeah, I've built these three London townhouses, which um, are all furnished, obviously, and I'm furnishing them all on this video just because I love doing that to myself, um, but also because I wanted to move in all of my sims with their own little families um, and I will do that here in this build so yeah um, that's basically the background of it and because I live in London I'm inspired by London architecture all the time I just wanted to create some really pretty London townhouses um, and like I said they're perfectly fit for the new growing together pack um, I haven't used the items in this build yet because it's not out yet the, the new pack um, but I've added plenty of kids rooms lots of like nurseries um, the last house also has a guest bedroom for when your grandparents come to stay over and like babysit um, so yeah everything is like catered for I tried to include lots and lots of kids rooms with lots of play stuff so in the gardens you find some kids kiddie pools and all that stuff and yeah included lots of toys and everything that you need to raise an infant um and yeah I'm genuinely so excited for this pack it's unbelievable it's exactly what I wanted it's like um, a generations kind of pack so in sims 3 it was generations and I love that pack although I'm quite disappointed that we're not getting strollers but you know aside from that I'm really excited for this pack I'm excited for a new life stage because I think babies were just so boring and so just not interesting at all and with this new life stage we kind of get to explore that kind of infancy a lot more which I'm so 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 hyped about um and yeah new baby update and everything so wanted to this build to be ready before then um for my family to move in but also if you want to download it um for you guys to download it and move your families in in time for having all these toddlers infants babies and everything grow up in these houses and spend their childhood in these um so yeah um it's a classic London townhouse style. Um, I went for your really, really big sash windows, which are by Charlie Pancakes. Love those to bits. And as you'll see, when we get into the interiors, um, the colours of the exterior does reflect like the interior design as well. Um, and yeah, at the back we have some beautiful gardens. They're not very big, but you know, in a townhouse in London, you won't have a huge garden. And yeah, I just put everything you need in there for barbecues with the family and like kiddie pools, like I said, um, to just some really green luscious gardens so you can spend some outside time with your kids and families and yeah so basically i built three townhouses in three kind of different styles and different aesthetics and different colors and um, although they're all very much neutral because that's just the color scheme that i like and i just like things to be brown beige white black and sometimes green so yeah that's all the color range that we'll get there is some terracotta in there which I can't hold off on. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm going to go into detail on the interior design of the townhouses in a sec. Um, but first I want to say like, thank you for everyone who keeps like commenting on my videos and sending messages and being so, so sweet. Um, I really, really do appreciate it, even though I don't really hop on YouTube or Instagram or anything very often um but no I do appreciate it I've just been mega 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 busy because I've been following my dream and I started a job as an interior designer which is like huge to me it's literally my dream job I've 
never been this happy working anywhere before it's literally so 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 fun i enjoy every single moment of it and it's just yeah it's been the right move for sure and i'm so 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 happy um but because of this change obviously didn't have time for sims and youtube anymore which is a shame but sims really always was like my creative outlet um of like interior design and like building and now i get to do that for a living so <laughs> it's really just like um yeah very very fulfilling to be an interior designer now uh, i'm still learning so much obviously i'm at the beginning of it all but learning 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 and just having the best time ever and yeah i don't really have time to build in the sims anymore like this build literally took me i think three months to just build um let alone edit and everything but yeah i really wanted to have it ready, like I said before, the new pack drop. So hopefully you'll like these. Um, but now enough of me. Let's talk about the interiors of these beautiful townhouses. Um, so it's like classic, like London exteriors. So I wanted to keep the interiors very fresh, but at the same time, kind of like typical of that architecture style. So we've got a lot of paneling. Um, we've got a lot of like vintage furniture mixed with modern or more like timeless pieces. And I that's like my favorite combination combination if you've been around and you've watched my older videos you know I love a combination of old and new and yeah the more I've been learning and like developing my design kind of style and sense um, the more I really appreciate some good vintage furniture so I tried to really make use of that kind of style and combine the two and really make this space interesting and each townhouse has like its own way of being some kind of beautiful interesting space without being too samesy hopefully um so yeah the first townhouse is more like really light we've got a lot of whites we've got the paneling like i said on the walls really beautiful herringbone flooring um and yeah it's like a very nice and natural combination of very natural colors so like terracotta we've got like dark brown timber and um just a really calm and yeah you know serene space because if you live here with a big family it's going to get chaotic so you want your house to be very calm and yeah just chill and nice to be in for each house that i am building you will see only like parts of it most of it basically the majority you see but i added um a lot of other like bathrooms and laundry rooms so every house has a laundry room which just excites me very very much i'd love to have my own laundry room um and i don't know in the in the sims especially i love doing the mundane things like doing laundry <laughs> going food shopping raising kids growing together um no yeah so i added lots of different rooms and everything that you need like like i said bathrooms on every floor um and we have tons and tons of kids rooms which if you've watched my videos before you know i absolutely adore creating and with the stunning cc items that i've used it's so easy and so fun and um, there will be a ton of new kids like furniture and clutter um in the new pack which i'm excited about because the sims have been upping their game when it comes to build and buy um so yeah and some of them are functional as well so there'll be a functional changing table like nappy changing table um and little bits and bobs like that like more games for infants and like playtime for infants so yeah i'm excited for those and i'm gonna have to pop them in when the new pack drops so if you're downloading this build then you probably will have to do that as well i was watching the sims stream where they introduce like um the family that is part of like that world and basically showed us how growing together is going to work and what the features are and everything and i spotted this really really cute little basket that's like the shape of an animal with like ears and everything and it's so 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 cute it's very much giving like h&m home vibes uh, in the kit section i could go crazy if i had a kid i mean i don't but um, if I did, um, I would go crazy in H&M Home. And it's giving that kind of vibe as well. And I'm really excited for the new cribs. And they're actually going to be functional. We don't have that stupid basic crib or bassinet or whatever it is anymore. I'm really, really hyped um, just to have like fun with babies, really. Um, but yeah, I'm getting sidetracked again. What my point was is um, there is lots and lots of kids' rooms. Um, so I think there's in total on this lot like five nursery slash kids' rooms and like toddler rooms and for every age i try to cater um so that you have something to play with and my sims will have somewhere to live when they grow up and you might know i really appreciate a beautiful and like 
stunning interior so even though we're gonna have kids running around here and it will probably be crazy and manic uh, like every family day-to-day -day usually is I still tried to make these houses like really aesthetic and like really sophisticated I mean to afford a townhouse in London you have to be loaded so yeah definitely got the most beautiful furniture in lots of different CC packs that I haven't made use of yet um, because I haven't built in for in so long um, but yeah lots of new packs from Pierre Sim and Felixander and Harry so yeah plenty and plenty of new objects that I got very very excited about because yeah new CC is so fun like it's so fun to have cute little things to design with and to create like spaces with so yeah a lot of Felixander's and a lot of Pierre Sim's and new packs um in this build but if you're interested in a full list of CC used you'll have to go check the description down below because it's just too much it's a long 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 list um but yeah I had a blast um there was so much new CC literally for every room I basically like explored completely new items and it was so much fun um but yeah getting sidetracked again um so let's move on to the second townhouse which is definitely my favorite um I don't know there's something about it that is just mm, stunning um I went for beautiful lime wash walls with paneling as well so that's from Harry's Octave set so that is literally the most beautiful wall covering that I've ever seen and it's my favorite to use and I didn't want to use it in every build but yeah I probably did use it quite a lot in this build um but yeah so we've got beautiful like beigey brown um walls lime washed walls and I love this look and then I went very very minimal in this house um injected a little bit of color like I said the green is coming through here very much so um beautiful sofas from I think the Florence set by Felixander that I've never used before because I used to be very like very very contemporary on sofas but I've I feel like my tastes have changed I feel like I'm appreciating a good like old-fashioned sofa these days and I'm obsessed with those sofas and also in the next townhouse you'll see beautiful stunning sofas I probably will get quite a bit of CC wrong slash I don't know much of it anymore like I used to have everything in my brain like knowing exactly which item is by which creator which pack which whatever I have no idea I literally have no clue I just you know you know try and try and remember as I go but um, if you have any questions um, I will try and find the answers for you I'm just not very good with all these new packs flying at me um, but yeah beautiful CC by my favorites obviously if you're ever looking for anything it's mostly my favorite creators that I use like 24 7 and probably way too much but they just create the most beautiful CC so that's Harry Charlie Pancakes Pierre Sim Tuds and Felixander of course so yeah if you need anything go to their websites they're amazing but what I was gonna say in this second channel is I'm obsessed with this dark brown timber and all the textures that I played with in this build like I said the lime wash walls you've got beautiful parquet flooring we've got the greens we've got really lush materials we've got beautiful timber and it's just like all these materials look very very natural there's a lot of stone involved which I am obsessed with as well like stone timber lime wash my dream um and yeah it all kind of creates this really like multi-layered kind of interior in my opinion I basically just built what, what I love and like what I would like my house to look like um, and that one is probably the most or, like closest to what I would go for in my own home um, and I love the kitchen in this building as well because I went for stone counters and the beautiful brownstone island and like injecting a little bit of terracotta here and there and that was just really really fun um, and then we've got beautiful shelving by um, Harry in her new quate quatai I don't know how to pronounce it her new set basically um, you can see like the log kind of pattern to it and it like they look very very natural like as if they've just been cut out of um, a log um, and I love that look it's giving like really beautiful like Mediterranean vibes I'm obsessed and yeah other than that I think that this house is just very minimal and maybe a little bit more um playing with vintage I'd say than the other two like the kids rooms especially I think do look quite vintagey and I, I tried to keep it really like cute and aesthetic um and lots of greens again a lot of black as well um I just love black as like an accent color I think it's stunning and kind of creates a really really interesting 
depth and even in the kids rooms I went for like a darker look with the dark green the dark wood the black so yeah it's um I don't know there's something really moody about them uh do let me know which one of the townhouses and which one of the kids rooms is your favorite and which ones like you want to move your sims into i kind of like the idea of like multiple of us playing and raising our sims in the same house and in the same build kind of thing i don't know um, but yeah do let me know which ones are your favorite down below in the comments i'd love to hear your thoughts as always and especially now that i've not been really active i'd be really really glad to see some familiar faces so do say hi down below I'm, i'd really really love that and have a quick chat um, about how everything's going um, it's just really weird to be back it's like hearing my intro music I'm like oh this is like giving deja vu uh, it's been like I think 10 months since my last video came out so yeah I've it's it's been a while so yeah definitely do say hi um, I mean do subscribe if you want but I can't guarantee I actually I will guarantee that there won't be many new videos anytime soon because it just takes me forever to build and edit and do everything and I just want to build and create this kind of you know post creative process when I feel inspired and when I feel in the mood for it um, but yeah definitely do say hi uh, but now let's move on to the last townhouse which is also very interesting because so for this one I went more monochrome there's a lot more black and white um, but I wanted it to be different from the others in some kind of way so we we are using really really beautiful shutters um, they're from the Grove set by Felixander a lot of items are from the Grove set that I'm using they're really really pretty items they're Mediterranean it's right up my street um, so yeah that was um, a set I'm I just died over when I used them I was like use again use again use again how many times can you reuse an item before it gets repetitive um but no yeah love that set to death um and where was i oh god I'm really not used to this anymore it's like i feel like i've unlearned the whole process of creating this video um but yeah so the last townhouse we've got these shutters which i think are stunning and add like character to this build um while the interior is quite contemporary in many ways but yeah i mean it like like i said all of them have like a mixture of like vintage and new um and um, more of like a contemporary side to everything um i couldn't do fully contemporary or fully old-fashioned these days i think it's, i always like the, the mix um but yeah this one is more monochrome like i said i still injected a lot of terracotta in this because i thought it needed some kind of warmth and some kind of like nice and cozy color and to make this also like a family home because they're all supposed to be really really cozy and really like perfect for your families while being very beautiful and very aesthetic um and in this house actually we've got only one kids room but we do have a guest bedroom like i said in at the beginning of this video uh, for when your parents come or grandparents come to stay over because that's a new feature in the new um, pack that i saw that you have like visitors like grandparents grandma granddad come by and stay over and like help out a bit with the kids so um, there has to be room somewhere on this build for some grandparents. Oh, actually, in this build, I really, really do love the nursery as well. Um, I went for a very different look to, like, downstairs. Downstairs, we have, like, the nice white panelling, which is from the Harry Brownstone set. Um, but in the kids' room, I thought I'd go all out there um, and go for a black panelling, which I think looks so moody and so beautiful. And some of you might think, black in a kids' room? How does that make sense? But... I don't know it kind of works for me with like really light furniture um and like cream and beige and whites um i don't know i feel like it really really works quite well so yeah that kids room is definitely up there with my favorites um but nothing beats townhouse 2 not gonna lie um but yeah um that is probably everything that i have time for um in this video it was lovely lovely to catch you up on what's been going on and showing you my build that i was just really inspired to create in the past like months um and i really hope you enjoyed watching another video i know it's been so so long i still hope anyone shows up to watch this but um yeah if you if you did like it then i'm really really happy uh and that's just all i wanted really just make someone be happy about sims <laughs> and if you're getting the growing together pack then enjoy that have fun i think it's going to be an amazing pack i can't wait to try it on myself uh, and play with the baby update and everything um or infant update oh, i can't i'm still not used to all the the new things um but yeah um happy happy simming with the new pack hopefully your families will 
enjoy living here and raising their kids here but don't leave yet because we still have the tour to see uh, so you can see all the rooms from their best glorious selves um, and then you can decide which one you like best um, and so do let me know that in the comments down below um but yeah that is pretty much everything now uh and i'm gonna have to say my goodbyes but like i said if you are a familiar face or a new face or anyone at all just say hi in the comments i'd love to have a little catch up with everyone thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the comments bye